gone site we got our foam in there we got stone coming in our construction entrance nice gonna dump them off here in the wet slop backfill with this frost wall on both sides come up and lift clean gravel i got my drain pipe all the way around installed it's gonna connect across this front daylight out there somewhere Phil saying that's what we're using. This stuff you just jiggle it, it compacts, it's nice. Good drainage too, you know. You can hear that boom in the bottom. Just dropping it in does numbers. Alright, that's two lifts in and compacted. Gonna slap the last one in and time for stone. Have to go get the truck and haul it in. Graded out, tamped out, looking good. Back on site. 100 degrees today. Hear that noise in the air? When you hear that, you know it's hot. Whatever that bug is. We got a foundation, we got tar pipes all the way around. Put this in daylight this morning. Got some grading out here to do. There's my sewer pipe to go out that hole. Got a water line going to be installed tomorrow in that hole. I'll excavate that. Everything's teed into here. Daylight. And out. Out right there. So we're good there. Going to be a lot of trucks of fill in here. Um, grade's going to drop off here. This is going to be a wood frame walk out here. And, uh,. Grade come up to the tar line and just taper off of this into this green pretty quick. So then we got to climb up to the porch, which will step up to that second tie there. They might have steps going in there. I don't know. I don't even know. But all this has got to get filled. And then that's the sword line there, which is going to go there to the tar line, to those top ties, and then up to the garage door. And then again, that garage floor is six inches higher than the top of the road back on site just digging this water line i got my line in there inspections at 9 30 got all my resin paper over the stone and pipe i'm gonna cut this in dig it i'm gonna digging it backwards to the line because i got all the power lines here and it was it's just tight in between here so it's the way that it's gonna be so like I said, I'm just digging it backwards, so you gotta be careful when you do this because you could clip the um, the valve and pick it up and break the copper. So you don't wanna dig crazy going to it. That's for sure. Got the smooth diesel bucket, tilt bucket on for that reason too. I didn't even bring the tooth bucket, no reason. Got the compactor here. So when we go come up in lifts in that garage and porch, we'll be all set with that. All right, just found it with a shovel. Get out and shovel. Don't be lazy. I'm gonna back, drag it in, scoop it up out. Work my way down to it nice and slow. All right, we're getting to the bottom of it. This was bent from probably when they did the shut off, whoever did the demo on the house. They had to dig down this and probably cut this copper. We're gonna loosen this up, take that off. We'll get a new one of those. <clears throat> Should be a valve here, not right there. And 
here's the copper and there is the cut so they they dug down and shut this off cut it which is good now we still got a nut and a seal here we'll clean all this up get ready to install new all right we're cleaned up i just bent this old copper out of the way that was connected to this here's our nut i have other videos of this in depth if anybody wants to see it I'll put the link in the description. Okay, this is our valve here. If we turn this, we will get water. And I like to do that. When I clean up all my parts, I'll use the city water for that. But we'll get a bucket, get a brush, get everything cleaned up, get the new parts ready to install. All right, everything's cleaned up. Check this out, both 12 inch wrenches. One fits on there, one don't. I go to measure it. It's like completely different size, just like tape measures, how they come. Now look at that. Unbelievable. I like to put it, a wrench on the back side like that when I do that, because if you do this, you could spin that one loose. This one's on there. I got it broke loose. It was a nightmare, though. If they've been on there a long time, I guess they'll really hang up on you. All right, we'll get this off. I got new parts for this anyways, but... We'll see what they, if they're good, if the old ring's good. Yeah, well, it looks still good, but I'll clean this up and inspect it. Clean these threads up. That's why you got to have a wrench on the back side. That definitely would have turned that. All right, got the line out. Here's a shark bite fitting. Going to put it on the end just so we can pressure test this. I'll be able to take that back off after it's pressurized and reuse it. I put the hose to the bank so when I backfill it doesn't come up. Feed it in this hole here. Give them enough room. Give them three, four feet, five feet, whatever. all cut to length Let's see what we got here I might be able to trim more of that off yeah let me give it a little trim dim dim all right that's better do not forget this insert this is a crush insert so you don't crush that plastic pipe you don't need this if you got copper you don't want to forget this too so let's put this in first then that then you just insert that in, like so. Bring this. Oh, you! I inspected this pretty good. That O-ring stuff was good, so we're gonna reuse it and we'll test it. If it leaks, then we'll replace it. Get that hand tight, and then you get your wrenches on it. Make sure you got your wrench on that. You're gonna want to flip that back around the other way and roll with it. You want to give her a good old snugga dugga do. You don't have to go too crazy because it is plastic, but you'll know. You'll know when it's home. And then another key factor is make sure there's a rock. And there's one here already because that's what it's supposed to be. Rock or something flat to be under this so this doesn't, you know, when you backfill or whatever, someone drives over the top of that shut off pushes this down and snaps the copper so you want to make sure there's a good solid base under here all right we're turning her on checking for leaks she ain't leaking and she ain't leaking inside because that shut off's on it and uh you would hear this thing going <laughs> through here so no leaks she's on inspector's on his way to Give me backfill permission. All right, inspection just went well, perfect. Got a new curb box right here. They'll put an extension on this because my grade's gonna be up as soon as we're done with finished grade. That way he'll hit the metal detector, find it, and put it so it doesn't get bent. Got great stuff here. Gonna work this in. 
and then you chip it out and put a little water stop in for the two inches on both sides afterwards but this water proofs it and keeps it from rubbing and everything else works well all right i'm with the back phil Everything's padded as I put that water line in. With sand, because we are in sand. You don't wanna, and if you're not in sand, pad it with the best material you can, you know? No rocks. We'll get this up and we'll compact it with the plate compactor. Get a two foot lift on it. All right, we got the vibrator on. We've already come up one lift. Backfill, another lift. Got my gravel being delivered. Dropping the second load off of the day. There's gonna be a lot of material around here. We gotta strategically place it with these power lines, get them under where we can. But this right here allows them to back over this without getting stuck if we get more rain, which we've had a ton of rain, man. From lunch, we got a hot two. We got a hot two.
another one. I think this is gonna take like 30, 30 trucks here. I'm gonna compact right now where that sewer line's coming up. I'm gonna compact that, there's two foot there. So we're gonna compact the heck out of that. So there's no settlement coming around this end. Nice and gingerly. Diesel plate compactor. So much better than getting down in there with a jumping jack or plate tamper, right? Come on. Simple, easy. Get it where you need it. You can push it around. That way we know the sewer line is gonna be just fine. yeah I just rebuilt this uh, I rebuilt this cylinder and I rebuilt this cylinder these two were leaking I did that over the weekend and they're mighty fine what a difference it makes in the machine for Jeff there was actually an internal seal in between the glands that was snapped so fluid could have been bypassing and fighting each fighting itself but she's good now that's all compacted up and uh, put a little under that sewer line. We got rain coming. Driver said he probably only could do one more. We'll see what happens though. We don't want to make mud out in the street, that's for sure. We'll get this up to that line, compact that near the wall, and let the rain do the rest of the job. Definitely gonna have pitch on that sewer. I'll tell you that. Don't have to check that one. Oh, we got another freshie. Right corner of the garage, back filling. Four hundred yards is what the allowance was on this job, but that's gonna be tight. It's going to be tight, I think. That garage is going to eat up six loads easy inside it. So, we'll see. It's definitely going to have like the anthill effect. Most of these modulars do. Uh, Last load of the day, going to go over that water line. Got that all hydraulic cement. This stuff sets up fast, but it works perfecto. Just gonna take this away. You only need two inches in here. All right, and you're good to go. Look. She's so nice. She is so nice. All right, let's get this sewer line in. Now, you gotta check with your local codes and towns. Uh, this town allows Fern Co's to go in six to four. 
Um, I did purchase the hard pipe, double gasketed, but it did not fit. For some reason, it was the same diameter as this. They're six to four, so it didn't go in there. The six to four usually goes in, and then it goes to a four, but it did not work. So we're gonna go with a fern coat just like that. I did check, and they said yes. And that was what was on it anyways when I did rip it. We'll put this, obviously, you see there's enough pitch. Got another piece in the van to make it. I'm about five foot short. And then we'll pad it. This was all compacted with the 88. Um, and then uh, Monday, we'll just throw a bunch of dirt on her after inspection. All right, got that tight. If you, now, this rubber is rated for like 100 years. But we usually, the, these bolts and stainless steel rot out before that. If you're not comfortable with that, you could do a, an old plumber's trick and take rags, put it around here, and then pour concrete you know, a bag around this whole system and then that would lock that all into. But one thing I'd like to say is I take that pipe, that four inch and stick it in there, go a good 10 inches in past that in case there ever is any issue with it. You just don't want to be right here and then that fall down. Put the other pipe inside that pipe. You know what I'm saying? All right, so instead of just going like this, okay, take that and go like that. So now we're in good two feet. We know we're good. Well, I just dropped the GoPro in the, in the concrete down here. Unbelievable. They're finishing that up. Today they poured it. All right, all installed, embedded perfectly with sand, padded and compacted with my feet all under it, chink it with a shovel, get that all good. Hydraulic cement Monday morning before inspection, and we'll be ready to go. Gonna wait. They obviously are pouring the floor down below.